Perspective is everything. The colors we choose reflect how we see the world, whether it is warmth of the sunset or the cool tones of a rainy day. Color is personal and it's emotional. Hey, Sam here. This is my color grade session just for you, hoping you can learn a thing or two from it. So I invite you to come hang out with me as I practice right now. As usual, I like to share my camera settings with you for full transparency. I believe that if a footage is well captured in camera first, it simply makes accurate color grading easy to achieve in post. For this project, I just wanted a simple car shot without any fancy lighting. Aperture MC light to the rescue. Very, very small, but it happens to be the right gear for the job. I shot this in c 3 using the EOS R6. Hence the very flat image that you see now. Then I used the 24 millimeter lens because I didn't want the blur. I am just trying to maintain a clean depth. For me, having a node structure is like planning. So here in my node structure, I will do HD, balance, look, and set up a parallel node for skin. Then of course, contrast, a CST for color space transform. Then I will set up another node, a conversion lot. For this color grading session, I'll be practicing for the first time with a lot. I usually like to do my stuff from scratch to finish. So before I start, I'll quickly move to the bottom here to check my other settings because it is important that I have this set up properly and correctly. Maybe you should do the same. This is what I will activate Canon camera gamma forward slash C log three. That's what I shot my clip here with. And then I'll change this to rec 709. Basically, that's the settings that I would like to activate here. Then I will move on to the other side, the color grading tab. And then I will quickly just label my nodes here. My CST is going to come first, color space transform. I'll just click and drag and drop in the node. Try to activate settings. So you probably need to look for what works for your camera, you know, but I'll pick Rec 709. It still really doesn't look like anything is happening the way I would want it to look. Okay, so Sinion film log actually works better for me. I'm not sure, but I might just leave it like this. Let me enlarge right here. I might change it. Okay, I think I am probably liking the look of the Sinion film log. So now I'll pick my lot here. I'm going to use the Kodak film lot. Kodak 2383. That's what the, that's the one I'm using. Using the Sinion film log actually would probably work for me. I want to maintain some kind of consistency with my look going forward even with subsequent videos that i release so, okay next thing i want to do now is to go to the hd segment i'll click on that node and then drop the hd drop the hd shadow by i mean increase it so that i'll lift the shadow a little bit um maybe here i'll just pack it on at 44 maybe a little bit more or less Maybe 45 will do or 50. I on my waveform right here, or oh, I'm not lifting it too much. 71 is good, I think. I'll reduce the light just a little bit. Reduce the highlight a little bit. That should do. Every little bit actually helps. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, you know. Less is better with color grading. And then I'll move to the balance. The balance, I'll switch to the waveform, I think. No RGB parade is, is what I need. As you can see right here, it looks, the image looks balanced. That's the reason why you need to do a good job at recording, especially when you're calibrating your camera for white balance. So white balance is good. I'll just reduce it a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll shift the temp 
the temperature to the blue axis just a little bit no to the to the to the warm axis I think no no to the blue axis because I want to reduce the the red just a little bit this is just practice it's not a tutorial please all right okay next we we'll go to look i'm not sure what kind of look i want to give to this thing so i might not do look yet i probably would go to skin i guess so that i i do my skin tone i select this and then go for the eyedropper tool and then click and start and selecting the skin right here. Usually I take a bit of time doing this. I might fast forward this. I mean, you should take your time too doing this because this is one of the most in important aspects of me color grading this footage. So I will use these numbers to just uh, work on my parameters for the selection. Just take your time. Then I will increase the clean black. Clean black helps me just take care of some of these black spots and then take on the clean white so that my selection is thorough. I probably will increase the blur a little bit and then go to denoise. Denoise doesn't have to be too much. So I think my selection is done at this point in time. So uh, to have the correctness, I would uh, turn on the virtual scope so that I will see that whether or not the skin tone is aligned on the skin tone line. Then I will come here and look at the look. Look at the look. <laughs> I'll just go back and forth a little bit on this. I'll go back and forth a little bit. I will switch to the color wheels again yeah i can probably increase contrast just a notch not too much then increase saturation i think no reduce contrast i can always change this up and uh, if i'm not satisfied let's I will increase pivot to five. Let me select the skin again and show the selection. Oh, I think I still need to look at the skin again because it needs to fall properly on that line right there. By increasing gamma shifting gamma to the yellow side just a little bit now the this particular portion right here is going to help me soften the skin a little bit just to add a little bit of softness to my skin to reduce the hard light as you can see it softened the skin a little bit not a whole lot i think i'm getting there I'll just darken the skin a little bit. This is what I have so far. Let me let me go to the lot. So what I intend to do here is to click on this uh, node key. I would go to the key output and reduce the gain. If I reduce the gain, what that is going to do is to help me reduce the effect of the lot on my clip, kind of like reducing the opacity so that the effect reduces. As you can see, it looks softer. I think I'm satisfied with this. It's just a question of what you are satisfied with. There's no really hard and fast rule about this. You know, if the image, your color grading looks good to you, you are the final authority. <laughs> 
you know so i don't think that i want to move any further maybe i'll give it a little bit contrast by using the curve yeah this is what i stop by here to share with you uh usually i just try to practice from time to time to actually see if my improvement shows in every project that i work on i hope you like what you saw today if this is your kind of thing you might want to subscribe and uh, hit the bell notification so that when i upload new videos you will be the first to know this is sam remember the best time to create is now until another video peace